Hey! The unexpected happened today. Apparently anyone gave a shit about these videos. It's amazing. Cool. We did it. So yeah, um, back due to extreme indifference. Uh, Except in one person's case. Wes Newcomb is apparently we need to give a big our, shout out to our, our followers biggest and Patreon. Fan boy. Um, uh, Jimmy Newell uh, also wants him back. Um, so, so here's a shout out for the only two people. No, no like five people today. Like the liked. Fuck. I know. Like our our videos got like six views. But apparently people are... Except for the first one which got like 120 or something. I, I have no idea. I don't think I've seen any of them, to be entirely honest. That's totally fair. I think uh, I'd show up here so that I can have some beer. And, to be entirely fair, no one should care about these videos <laughs> or watch them. If you do, you've severely misplaced but, energy and time. But, uh, to celebrate this extreme non-event, I got... Something that can only be described as better than The Godfather, so... Part 3? I don't think that's one of the part 3, yes, okay, absolutely. Cool. Uh, so this is uh, Bon Chien, Grand Cru. It is a sour ale from Switzerland. A, uh, a nation of deeply misunderstood gun nuts. <laughs> that are apathetic about every other country, but people like so that. It's like the Wisconsin of Europe, or the Montana of Europe. It, it, it's it's it. a country built on tourism, banking, and being able to militarize your ninety percent of your population in forty eight hours. Cool. So no one's going to fact check us because once again, no one watches these videos. Yeah. So, uh, we can literally say whatever. So I'm going to open it. It's eleven percent sour. Matured in oak barrels. Wait, what? It's an 11% sour from Switzerland. Okay, oh, yeah, cool. I'm on board. And I've had it once before at a homebrew club. And uh, I've been, been told amazing things about it for a long time before then. And it's... But did people stop telling you how great it was after you had it? No. Uh, well, I... Just... you like, yeah, it's good. And you got to shut up. Uh, no, like, like... The entire time drinking this Umber Club was like going like, holy fuck, this is awesome. <laughs> oh. Grandparents, um, once again, I know that no one watched this, so you probably won't, but if anyone's going to, you will. I'm terribly sorry, I just, I just swore. Also, I'm drinking beers, so not going to like this anyway. Forgive the profanity. <sighs> hey? We, we don't. Um, you, you go. So, it, it... You can do your own thing. It, it threatens <laughs> to, uh foam up out of the glass initially, and then it pours a kind of hazy amber color. It's very, very opaque. Um, also, uh, it's extremely effervescent. Also, it does give a recommended temperature, which is great. More beers should do that. Yeah. Unfortunately, it's a relatively warm day, so I ignore that entirely. So this is brewed cold like the Rockies? It's, or like it's the Alps, like, like the Alps, Alps maybe. is brewed as cold as the Alps. Um, um, so yeah. To the return of a YouTube channel that... I don't even know if it qualifies as a channel. It does not qualify as a channel. It qualifies as... It may uh, not have continuous programming. If I had any ego, this would be ego stroking. But I have no self-esteem. It's not tasty. It's, it's, it is a tastiest beer, so... Right off the, uh, the bat, you get a strong hit of a breadiness, um, a nice kind of baked brown bread, a bit of raspberry, a bit of lemon, really nice citrus quality, as well as like a really slightly funky sour quality to it as well. Oh no, it's got the funk. Ooh, it's got, it's got the funk. Mm. It, like, so, here's the thing. Most beers, or any 
anything have essentially a three act structure but taste. So you have the delivery, the development, the and uh, the finish. <clears throat> this is like five. It, just like, like like the first sip right away, it's like sour, but it's also malty. Sour, which malty, is like not. Uh, and then it transitions to funk, and it like does like in very. Here's this flavor. Here's this flavor. Here's this flavor. Here's this flavor. Done. Drink again, um, which is very odd. And I like you don't usually get that many kind of transitions through flavor. Um, you usually get just like the kind of progression of a theme, a la Sonata. Oh, that was so fucking pretentious. Oh man. Oh no. My coworkers are gonna. They might see. They're, they're they gonna, probably won't. They're gonna watch you posting a video of yourself drinking beer, <sighs> and then mentioning Sonata, a car made by one of your rivals. Honda, Toyota. <laughs> well, I mean, I mean, Kia makes good cars. I, Kia makes cars. I ride a bike. Kia mm -hmm. makes automobiles. They exist. The Genesis is marketing. Ah, <laughs> uh, okay. Um, so, how would you describe the funk quality of this? Because it's, it's kind of horse blankety, but it's not... Uh, it's incredibly round mm -hmm. for a sour. Mm -hmm. um, sour is going to be pretty sharp. And like, there is a lot of tartness here. It, it's tart. But there's so much everything else. But it, <laughs> that it's very restrained. It's, it's just cushioned. Like, yeah. A lot of sours say, hey, like, I... <clears throat> here's fucking raspberry and like... Or, or, or in the case of Goose, it's like, you have lemon! <laughs> yeah. And then like, dirt. It's like, and cool, but... This is like, hey, I'm sour. And then it's like, I've got... it. The flavor profile, it's like one of those, the cookies that people put their Hershey's Kisses, like, in. Oh, okay. <laughs> it's just like, I, a little, little point, and then it's like, tapered around the edges. Because there is like a distinct brown sugar quality to this. Yeah. Like, very, very apparent. Light brown sugar, not very molasses-y brown sugar. There's a spice quality. Um... Kind of the sinus when you smell it. <laughs> Remind me of Retro Hill. I don't even Retro Hill pipes or cigars. Yeah. But, um, when you're sipping, you get like a kind of off the top, like a really heavy, almost like a really like a Indian baking spice. Not like tarragon or anything, but. Trying to think what exactly would qualify with that, but it's really pleasant. I've not experienced that before. It's got cardamom. Hmm. I'm an idiot. That is totally cardamom. But that is 100% cardamom. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> uh, <laughs> I'm so out of shape of drinking stuff. Uh, in, okay. in general, but <laughs> you're just throwing things now. Absolutely, I have no respect for myself or throwing things off camera. Or my viewers, my viewer. He's out of drinking shape, which is apparently something you have to work for. Uh huh. Mm hmm. <clears throat> no, this is it's very good. It's tasty. Drink it. You'll, you'll definitely you drink might it. I like it. It's only got a very rich full mouthfeel. Yeah. It goes to the side and back of the tongue. For the ABV, it's not boozy at all. No, it's not boozy at all for the ABV. It's not uh, extremely um, astringent in mouthfeel quality mm -hmm. for how tart it is. The malt quality really just surrounds the back of your palate. The lower part just kind of goes around your tongue. There's so much to talk about this beer I can't, like, get to it all. I... Yeah, I. 
feeling woefully inadequate. Yeah. Um, it's a lot, of, a lot of stuff going on. It it's good. Just it's all tasty. Just like putting them up, guys. Get it. If you, you it. if you like sours at all, try this. I'm gonna give it. We give this stuff out of a hundred. Uh, let's. No, we do. Yeah, cool. We, we apparently used to. Let's screw that. No, yeah. Um, best beer ever. Worst beer ever. Best beer ever. Worst beer ever. Best beer ever. Best beer ever. Best beer ever. Absolutely. Um, if you like sours, check it out. If you like beer, check it out. If you don't like sours, check it out. If you don't like beer, I don't know why you watch this video. Wes Newcomb, how are you doing? Um, You're a fan. Why do you what? Wait. He's the one who made us do this. Eh? I know. You cruel bastard. Yeah. We're forced to sit in this weird office and drink beer for the rest of our lives. Because one man going around bossing people to drink. <clears throat> well, we'll be in beer purgatory, but... No, no, this... It's all courtesy of you, Wes. Absolutely. Cool. Anyway. Best beer ever, definitely. Um, there's a, a lot to experience with this beer in terms of mouthfeel, aroma. Um, just the delivery flavor is so different from every other sour or non-sour beer we've ever had. Also, it's got the single lamest tagline ever. Like a version. Someone made money what? with that. That is so embarrassing. <laughs> it's so d like like a virgin. Aged in Van John's <laughs> barrels for, for a year. year. You can tell that it's aged. No, 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 absolutely. It's rounded out like crazy. Yeah. But it's that's the worst tagline. No, it's not. There is a tagline. About a certain car camera system that some people who might be co workers and I talk about all the time and it is staggeringly dumb. Please enlighten me because I have no idea what you're talking about. I, I, I don't want to because this is going to work on the internet. Fair enough. Um, this is so bad. Yeah. yeah. It was a good beer. Best beer ever. Thanks for watching. Don't know why you did. I don't know why I made it almost 13 minutes into this crap. But I, I'm flattered. Just pull the plug. Absolutely. Pull the plug.